All right, in this short video, I wanna walk you through finding a data set on Kaggle.com and then uploading that data set to Azure Machine Learning as a data set for data analysis and machine learning experiments. Let's take a look. So here I am in Kaggle.com. Uh, if you're not familiar with Kaggle, it's an open source data science community. They have all sorts of competitions, data sets you can use, uh, code snippets, discussions, even courses and uh, paid competitions. So there's some really cool stuff here. But what the thing that I usually come to Kaggle for is the data sets. So if we click on data sets, we can find a bunch of data sets by uh, division of areas or things like that. Um, we can also search for something that we're looking for. For example, if I was looking for movies, I could find a movie data set. I could find uh, some sports data sets if I wanted to. Um, most data scientists start off their data science careers with the, a, the Titanic uh, disaster, predicting whether someone would have lived or died on the Titanic. So if we do a search here for Titanic, we do see we have some Titanic data sets, and we actually see we have a number of them. Now, this is conveniently sorted by, well, hotness is their technical term here, uh, but we can see the number of upvolts uh, and some uh, gold and bronze and things like that. So we probably want this Titanic data set uh, that was last updated about five years ago. So if I click in on this, I see I've got some overview of the data, some code from various people who've tried experiments with this data set, uh, some discussion points about the data itself, and then I can actually go down here and see uh, some of the columns that are included in this, the passions are IG, age, fair, and I can get a nice little distribution graph of this data. Uh, if I want more columns, I can click on this 10 of 28 and I can scroll down and check or uncheck things that I want to um, and click apply and that'll help, help me out here. Uh, but here, this is really what I'm interested in. I'm interested in this train and test to CSV. Uh, if there are more files, they'd also appear over here. But I can click download here and it's going to actually save it to my uh, computer. And so once that's saved, I can now take this and uh, move it into Azure uh, Machine Learning Studio, so, which is what we'll take a look at in a second. So here I am in my Azure portal, and I have a not Skynet resource. That's just the name of the resource. That's of type Azure Machine Learning Workspace. I've already created one. If you haven't created one, you'll need to create a machine learning workspace yourself. But if I click on, on this, it gives me some details about it. And I click Launch Studio to take me directly into Azure Machine Learning Studio. And once I'm in here, I can go to the data tab on the left sidebar and I can click create and that's going to let me upload a data asset. So I'll click create uh, and now I'm going to tell it what uh, what name I want. So I'm going to say Titanic from Kaggle uh, and I can put a description if I want and I can select the type, uh, the, you know, file is going to be just fine here. Um, so I'll click next and next. I'm going to choose uh, a data set from the local files because I'm going to be uploading a CSV. I could be giving it a URI or something from my Azure storage. I'll just click next here. Uh, I'm going to stick it into the default workspaces blob store. That's fine. It's usually a good default. And now I'm going to actually go in and upload a file. And I'm going to select that train and test to CSV file, the one that we just uh, downloaded from Kaggle. And if I want to, I could check overwrite with already exists, click next. And now I would click create. And this is actually going to upload the data set from my machine and it's now going to be out there. So cool thing here, if I click explore, I can actually see uh, the same uh, data that we had here, um, which is kind of neat. Um, so I can, I can take a look at that data with column headers and the like, and I get a good sense of the distribution of that data, which is pretty cool. So that's how we get data out there from our, our local machine or from Kaggle uh, into Azure Machine Learning Studio. From here, we're going to be able to run data science experiments such as automated ML jobs and things like that. Uh, but those are the topics of other videos and articles.